Okay, to paraphrase a famous author, the reports of the demise of bookstores have been greatly exaggerated. Yeah, in fact, one Minneapolis publisher hopes to be part of a trend. Fox 9, Samuel King, live in downtown. And Samuel, a new bookstore is holding its grand opening tonight, which, with today's reading technology, may come as a surprise to many. Yeah, one of the first bookstores to open here in Minneapolis in quite some time. A big crowd here for the opening of Milkweed Books on the first floor of the Open Book Building, the largest literary and book art center in the country. And the store's founders say they believe the time and place are right for a launch. It makes sense pictorially, you know, sort of like I get the logic. The people at Milkweed Books spent Tuesday putting the finishing touches on what they hope is a new beginning. What I always tell people is that publishing is going through more change right now than at any time since Gutenberg, and we're part of it. The business of brick and mortar book selling has been rocked in recent years by the dominance of Amazon and the rise of e-readers, but the numbers of independent bookstores nationwide are growing once again. Even 10 years ago, a lot of smart people were predicting there would not be books printed today. Um, E-books in the last couple of years have kind of hit a ceiling in terms of their percentage of the marketplace. Daniel Slager is CEO and publisher of Milkweed Editions, a nonprofit publisher based on the third floor of the Open Book Building. Two years ago, he approached the board of directors about placing a bookstore in this once vacant first floor space. In Open Book, we, last year we had 175,000 visitors, and we're assuming on some level those are people who are interested in books. Slager felt the timing was right as the downtown East neighborhood continues to boom. Manager Hans Wyant worked at the first bookstore in this space, which opened in 2000 and later closed. He says things are different now. Part of it, obviously, is the neighborhood changing in terms of how many people are living here and the concentration of other restaurants and retail. Slaker and his staff say the store will offer the usual big budget bestsellers, but will also try to expose readers to new authors. They hope this store offers an experience online book selling can't match. When you have a conversation with someone and start to figure out what they're looking for for themselves or for an anniversary present or for a birthday gift, it's a special thing that you get to be a part of. And to show the demand for this type of bookstore in the area, the nonprofit owners here launched a Kickstarter campaign. It smashed their goal of 25,000. Now they're aiming for 40,000, and they hope to have this bookstore open seven days a week moving forward. Back to you guys.